If we get any kind of message of intelligent life, then I'm gonna suggest our scientists try to make contact with it. While we have made several trips to space in hopes of trying to find life beyond Earth, things usually don't happen the other way around. Well, that has just changed. Scientists have actually detected a new interstellar visitor, and it brought with it hundreds of questions. Join us as we dig deeper into what's going on with this mysterious visitor and what this could mean for the future of humanity. But before we get to the visitor, we're going to take a look back at 2017 to make sense of what's going on right now. There are trillions of space rocks in our solar system alone, even more outside of it. But the spacecraft's telescopes and lasers we have on Earth still spend night and day studying them. Anyway, that's because any information we might find about the rocks flying around in space could change everything in an instant. So there's no stone we can leave unstudied. While scientists spend all day and night studying space, we've never really had anything major enter our solar system. Even if we did, it's usually right at the edge of our solar system that, too, if it's fast enough to make it through the sheer pressure objects have to deal with. So to have an interstellar object make it even remotely close to being detected by the machines on Earth was never really a goal, it's not something the researchers are looking for. So imagine the surprise when, on October 19, 2017, the University of Hawaii's Pan-STARRS-1 telescope went off. You see, these telescopes work on the Near-Earth Object Observations Program, it's the department that studies anything that might be out there in open space. That's all the rocks, satellites, gases, and even pollution. Nothing gets past these guys. This is why they were able to hop on the data brought in immediately and found what they later named Umuamua. Umuamua wasn't just a regular little thing in space, it was unlike anything they had ever seen before, something so strange that it alerted everyone. Umuamua, a visitor. Normally, when researchers study rocks in space, they are from within our solar system, but Umuamua wasn't a regular rock. It had somehow made it to the Earth's area from outside our own solar system. That's nearly impossible. No object without bursters, of course, is supposed to be powerful enough to take on interstellar travel. So the fact that Umuamua even made it to Earth was baffling. But then things got even scarier. Umuamua was showing no signs of slowing down. Instead, it was actually speeding up as it got closer to Earth, only to then do a harp in orbit and head back in the general direction it came from. When the researchers did a deep dive into the data they had collected, they found that Umuamua hadn't just steadily sped up as it made its way to Earth but sped up several times throughout the journey both to and from Earth. But it's a rock. It doesn't have an engine or bursters, right? What's going on? That was the question on everyone's mind in the department, and well, answering it wasn't getting any easier. Initial theories. The initial theories. At first, the researchers thought that an asteroid was headed towards the Earth. Generally, when there's a random space rock orbiting the Sun, it's always classified as an asteroid. They call it that because before the speed and everything else that came into question, that's what Umuamua first seemed like. But after the data was processed and the rock straight up changed its direction, it was clear that this hunk of rock was no asteroid, it was something else entirely. Now the problem was that, because of the speed, this mysterious visitor was making its way through our solar system, time was of the essence. The researchers needed to figure out everything they wanted within the span of 11 days. In those 11 days, they progressively be able to collect less and fewer data. So the longer they take, the worse it would get. No pressure, though, right? Well, not quite. Things got even worse when they tried to label Umuamua a comet. ESO's very large telescope in Chile was called in. You know things are getting super serious when the very large telescope has to come and take a look at things. It was tasked with trying to figure out the exact measurements of the object. Not just that, but to take the data one step further and figure out its orbit, color, and brightness. Documenting every single ridge and detail of the rock was integral at this point because nothing like this had ever been seen before. You'd think that things would get less confusing when the details came in, but nope, it all got even more confusing. 
The space cigar. The space cigar. When you imagine a space rock, an asteroid, or even a comet, what do you picture? Probably something somewhat round, right? That's because most objects in space are round or at least somewhat spherical. It's not a random occurrence either, all of the atoms in an object usually are attracted to one gravitational pull, whether that's of the sun or something else. There's always something that keeps the atom spherical. Plus, because of the conditions in open space, with all of the debris, gases, and pressure, the need for atoms to be rounder amplifies even more. So one of the most obvious things about Oumuamua that just baffled everyone was its shape. It wasn't a sphere, not even remotely. The thing was straight up shaped like a giant space cigar. What's even crazier is the sheer size of it. It had a radius of around 200 meters and was 10 times as long as it was wide. Unlike anything we'd ever encountered before, at least inside our solar system, which is 287.46 billion kilometers in diameter. Talk about being one in almost 3 billion. With all of that shocking information, they even found out that Oumuamua was red, like a burnt red, which a lot of objects in our outer solar system are. But the thing is, they get their color from the dust around them. Oumuamua didn't have one speck of dust on it, it was built out of rock and metals, with no water, ice, or anything else. With that build, you'd think that this massive rock would be traveling fairly slowly, even though its speed was changing up throughout its travels. But nope. The giant space cigar just wanted to surprise everyone over and over again. It was actually traveling at 85,700 miles per hour. One of the reasons why this was happening was that not only was gravity pulling Oumuamua towards the sun, but a second force, one that we couldn't see, was somehow pushing it through the solar system, pushing or steering it. With the speed and general trajectory, on paper, the scientists were able to figure out that the object came hurling towards Earth from the location of the star Vega, which is the brightest star in the northern constellation of Lyra. But because of how long it's been traveling, even though it was going at an average of 59,000 miles per hour, it hasn't even been near Vega for the last 300,000 years. That also means Vega wasn't there when Oumuamua passed through the region. It was almost as if the more information the scientists found, the messier things were getting. Even though space is unpredictable, there is still something that should even remotely click. But so far, it was nothing. It wasn't an asteroid, it wasn't a comet, and it wasn't even from this solar system, something random that we've never seen before. And now that it's already made its way out of the solar system, it's possible that we'd never see it again. Or will we? A familiar visitor. A familiar visitor. We've already been over just how rare it was to see Oumuamua in our solar system, how it's been the one thing scientists have been working on figuring out for years now, only to come back with more questions rather than answers. But now, things have got even more interesting. Turns out, now that we're actually looking for Oumuamua, scientists find out that an object like it enters our solar system and surveys the region at least once a year. Because of how tiny it shows up as in data and how far away it is, it's never really been seen before. But now that telescopes like PanStars 1 are on the job, we are getting the information we never have before. So if this object is doing a yearly round of the solar system, could it really be an inanimate rock hurling through space, or could it be a brilliantly camouflaged spaceship checking out what we're up to? That seems like a bit of a stretch, right? But Paul Chodas, manager of the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, quite literally said, it's a strange visitor from a faraway star system shaped like nothing we've ever seen in our own solar system neighborhood. What makes things even crazier is that the name they've given to the object, Muamua, literally translates from Hawaiian to a messenger from a far arriving first. So what does this messenger want to tell us, and why is it just scouting around our solar system like that? Or does NASA already know the message the visitor was carrying? We'll just have to wait till the next visit to find out more about Umuamua, unless it gets to us first. On that crazy note, we'll wrap up today's video. What do you think is going on with Umuamua? Let us know in the comments below. Like always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, 
and we'll see you guys next time.